Well, Mike, a Westchester police interrogated Strauss for about 17 hours, so there's a lot there. The recordings were just released to us exclusively today, and we're still going through all of it. But it shows how detectives broke down Strauss and got him to admit to key details in the case, which ultimately led to a murder conviction. Crazy, like crazy horror stuff like I like psychological stuff. I don't Michael Strauss, a man obsessed with serial killers and horror films, an aspiring filmmaker who prosecutors say produced and directed the real life murder of 23 year old Ellie Wyke. Strauss became a suspect even before Ellie's body was found in a Liberty Township field close to his house. If someone was talking or acting like it was somebody else. Newly released interrogation tapes show Strauss used a text spoof app to send Wyke messages and pretend he was someone else. During the first interrogation, detectives got Strauss to admit he peeked through a window and secretly recorded Ellie while she was scrapbooking inside her Westchester home. And then I was going to leave. And then when I was going to leave, I saw her like through the window or whatever. And I'm like, I'm just going to film her for a little bit. At a later date, he sent her part of that video. Friends say Ellie became frightened that Strauss, a person she dated when she was 17, was stalking her. August 24th, Strauss was interrogated again. And Michael, we have to get to the bottom of it. That's going to be Ellie White. That's Ellie White. That's Ellie White's head under a bag. This is the day Ellie's body was found. Why you have her driver's license, why you have the necklace that came off her neck, why you have a clump of her hair in a tin that you even call it a tribute. His story, he and Ellie were making a horror movie. One Strauss says started at her house and ended at his with what he called an accident. And I don't think anybody in there, any reasonable person is going to believe that Ellie comes outside with a blanket on, getting ready to go to your house with zip ties on her hands unless she's being forced or threatened. No, we were filming the thing and we were filming this her scenes and like I said, it wasn't like tight zip ties. This was a story detectives didn't buy. Now, during that interrogation, Strauss also said he had smoked weed and been drinking that night and at one point passed out. At times, he could not give definitive answers. At the end of the day, though, Strauss pleaded guilty and was sentenced to life in prison. Mike